One of the reasons I see so many clients after they've been through infidelity in their relationship or their marriage is because they go through a process and they don't know if it's normal. And this process fluctuates for a whole year. And I started noticing it that it's not only the victim or the person who the affair was done on or to, it's the person, it's the perpetrator, the person who does the affair. So I'm going to go through a list of changes you can anticipate and expect if you have been cheated on. Because I think sometimes when we know what to expect, it helps prompt them, especially if you're going into a new relationship and you've been through this, it helps you discuss the situation more with your new partner before it happens. You can make a plan to cheat proof your relationship. And I think the same of the perpetrator. If they've been through cheating and they have cheated on their partner, then they have gone through changes too. And none of them have been very pleasant. And sometimes if when you realize, okay, I did something really bad and it screwed up this relationship forever, and that relationship ends and you're in a new one, you want to remember what those actions did to your partner before and what it did to your person, your integrity, your value. And you want to use that as a fuel to bring it up, to talk about it, to make sure that your marriage is transparent the second time around. Because one thing we know for sure, once cheating has happened in a relationship, both parties change. And forever and ever, the relationship they go into, there is a scar there. And in only way that you can prevent that is from starting at the beginning of a new relationship and talking about it and having a plan so that it will not happen in your relationship. So for those of you who have been cheated on, this is what you can expect. First of all, your self-esteem and your, your self-worth are going to be shattered. That's absolutely going to happen. And I don't care how famous you are, how beautiful you are, how, how high, high above you feel you are untouchable. If someone that you love cheats on you, it will bring you down fast. Secondly, your trust is never quite the same. Two thirds of all relationships go on to work it out, to make it work, but that trust is never 100% the way it was before. It is almost impossible to restore it to the pre-cheating place that it was. Um, you're afraid to love again. A lot of times people will get very close to loving another person and then they'll just go, no, I, I, my heart was just too broken. I just, I just can't take that risk again. Perfectly normal if you feel like that. Um, your brain takes a beating because of the dopamine and the serotonins and the whole situation that happens with an affair. You're up, you're down, you deny, you rationalize. You, you have been through a lot and you can expect to be stuck in a brain fog, a confusion for a very long time, not really knowing if you trust others or yourself. Um, you physically hurt. Like I know so many people that complain of stomach pain. They develop terrible gut issues. They have headaches. They feel like they don't have energy. They feel like they have chronic fatigue syndrome. All sorts of things due to the high levels of stress and pain of the loss. Hurting from the loss of another in a physical sense is a very real thing and you should take it serious. Your doctor may try to put you on a medication, but make sure that you know that this part of the process is normal after you've been hurt to this depth. Um, you can't stop obsessing about it. You tell everybody about it. You can't quit thinking about it. You go over and over in your mind. In fact, one of the telltale signs that you're getting better is you will slowly realize, oh my God, I didn't think about it for an hour. That's a big deal. And be sure you praise yourself and give yourself a reward. That means you're healing yourself and that's a good sign. Um, 
your eyes are open in a way that that they never were before. There, there's an innocence that's been broken. And that innocence was taken from you. And unfortunately, you will never have that again. So you're going to have to grieve that, that opening of the eyes. Some of the openings sometimes is good if you had this person on a pedestal or rose-colored glasses, but it doesn't make it any less painful. If you're the perpetrator or you're the cheater that caused the problem, the first thing is you're going to struggle with humiliation because you might feel pretty cocksure right now or pretty confident in who you are, but believe me, other people are going to find out. Other people know and that you will know when they look at you that they know. Their eyes will say it all and there is a humiliation in that. Still today, there is a stigma, and there should be, because that's really being a coward when you make that choice to cheat. Secondly, your spouse has permanent ammunition against you. Should you work it out, they always will have the upper hand because you made a bad choice. You cheated. Um, your, ch your children may and probably will blame you, especially in the state of an affair because what happens is the kids find out and then they know you hurt mommy or daddy and they will blame you for robbing them of a good childhood because usually what happens is their childhood is forever changed. Doesn't mean you necessarily break up or divorce, but you did change their childhood. And to deny that or get defensive is the wrong action. You have to humble yourself and tell your child you, that's true. And then you have to be very, once again, humiliated and humbled to do that so that it's heard and it's understood and it's honest. Um, you can't trust others to be loyal to you because let's face it, you weren't. And if you weren't, then how are you going to trust others to? You mouthed and went through the vows saying, I love you, but you didn't follow through. So why would you believe someone else when they told you they loved you? It's a vicious cycle. Um, everything you do is questioned. From this point forward, if someone knows you cheated, especially if you're with that person, you're gonna be questioned. You're gonna be doubted. They're never going to be able to fully trust you or hold you accountable to the way they did before. Something, something you destroyed with your choice is almost entirely irreparable. And if you move into another relationship, it's notoriously going to come up that you cheated on your last partner. And once again, you're going to start seeing this vicious cycle played out. Um, you lose credibility. You can't tell your kids how to be faithful. Can't tell your kids to value family. Can't tell your kids how to make up after a fight. I mean, look what you did. Look at the choices you made. It's tough. Um, and your confidence, it may be boosted at first, but that boost is only the endorphins that are happening with the cycle of the affair that follows an addicts. It's going to come crashing down. And no matter how you rationalize it or you reframe it, it's going to crash. And I think accepting that, understanding that, and seeing that as all a normal process of a bad choice you made is the very first step in perhaps healing it. If you can heal it, the way I know you have the best chance is to go to a therapist. Admit honestly what you did and be humble, be remorseful, and work to restore the trust that was broken.